guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be telling you all my experience on the birth control Implanon, which is also known as Nexplanon, and we'll get into that in a second. I made a list on my phone of all of the things that I want to talk about as far as this birth control goes because uh, there's a lot. Um, Implanon, also known as Nexplanon, is a birth control implant that your doctor places in the upper inside of your arm. So some people have it placed on this side. I have mine placed on this side. I guess I shouldn't have worn a sweater so I can show you guys my scars. I didn't think that through. We'll make it work. And basically it is a birth control that you have placed and it stays in for about three years and it slowly releases hormones into your body um, so that you don't get pregnant. Nexplanon or Implanon is 99% effective. About one in a hundred women still do get pregnant on it. So the way that the Nexplanon birth control is inserted into your arm is they clean your arm where you're going to have it placed. Um, then they make a small incision and then they have this um, applicator, which I will insert a photo of right here because it's kind of hard to explain without showing you a picture. Um, but basically the applicator has this kind of arm that has the birth control on it and that arm goes inside the incision and they slide it in there and then they press a lever on the top that releases the implanon or an explanon into your arm and then they pull out you know they pull away from your skin and then the implanon is in your arm um and the experiences that i've had with nexplanon and implanon and experiences that other people that i know have had this birth control um, it's then covered with uh, liquid skin. It's basically like um, kind of like a glue, but a more flexible glue. Um, so you don't have to have stitches or anything. Um, that's what I had. So you just cover it with a little bit of liquid skin and you're good to go. After mine was inserted, I personally had bruising around the area of my arm. Um, it was a rather large bruising. I would say it was probably about this big. Um, and that's mostly just because you are bleeding and that blood is you know under your skin and so there's going to be bruising there was also some soreness around the area both the bruising and the soreness for me went away within mm, probably about completely went away probably about three weeks during that three week period after it was inserted i couldn't really do any heavy lifting with my arm um, because it was really sore and um I was I didn't want to risk ripping it open and anything coming out so I, I had to be really really gentle with my arm but like I said that went away within about three weeks now here's the thing I had Implanon um, there is now a newer form of birth control that's very 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 similar to Implanon um, that's called Nexplanon now the only difference between Implanon and Nexplanon is Implanon and Nexplanon, um, they both carry a risk of migrating in the body um, and getting lost in the body. And the issue they were having with imp Implanon is it wasn't detectable on x-rays. So basically Implanon would move around in women's bodies and it would just be stuck inside their bodies forever because doctors couldn't find it. Um, which then that causes a lot of issues. Um, which I will explain later on in the video. The difference with Nexplanon is it has a coating around it that can be detected on x-rays so that when it comes time to remove it, if it does migrate, they can find it on an x-ray and remove it. Oh, and I didn't mention this before, but um, Implanon, I will like put up a picture of Implanon and Nexplanon um, right here. It's about the size of a matchstick, um, same like thinness and length. After I had it inserted, after the initial three weeks and I was all healed, um, everything seemed to be pretty great. Um, I actually stopped getting my period altogether, um, which is very rare. Uh, well, not very rare. Some women do have it, but it's actually more common that women bleed the entire time they have it, but I'll go into that later on. Yeah, I stopped having my period. I 
so therefore obviously I wasn't getting pregnant but then probably around the sixth month mark is when I started to notice all of the negatives and let me tell you there's a lot so around the six month mark I started to notice that things probably weren't the best about this birth control um yeah that's when it kind of started to go downhill <laughs> um the first thing that i noticed was probably the arm pain i found it really really difficult to carry anything too heavy on this arm or with this arm even so much so of like carrying my niece who at the time was like a baby, a freaking newborn. Um, even like holding her with this arm caused pain in this arm. Not not too crazy, but like it was definitely uncomfortable. Um, and at first I kind of just like dismissed that as okay, maybe I'm weak and I'm just sore from holding her. Um, but then like it progressively got worse over time where even like carrying grocery bags into the house would make my arm hurt um and even like sleeping on this side at night this arm would begin to hurt anything that caused me to bear any weight with this arm like hold any weight on this arm or even lay on it um i would have really bad pain um in this arm especially on the inside but it kind of all kind of migrated around my arm um and every once in a while it would be so bad that it would kind of cause my arm to go numb nothing like too crazy but that like pins and needles feeling you know when when your foot starts to fall asleep that would kind of happen from probably like my elbow down another issue that i had um and this is not going to be from here on it's not going to be really any chronological order just because i've had this in for so long um it's going on almost eight years now that i can't even remember when the um, side effects started because it's been so long. So this is not going to be any chronological order. Sorry um, Another problem that I had that um, a Lot of people in my life can vouch for is the weight gain slowly, but surely after having this birth control and um, the weight started to Stay on me and the harder it was to lose um, I'm gonna throw a number out there because I don't care and I think it's important to be raw and honest about this because that's what this whole video is about. When I got on Implanon, I was 125, 125 pounds. I am now, after having had it for almost eight years, and mind you, my activity level really hasn't changed. The way that I eat has changed. I actually eat a lot better than I did when I was 16. Um, I'm now fully vegan. I eat much cleaner. I eat much better. Um, so if anything, I should have lost weight um, or at least stayed the weight that I was. But now I am sitting right at about 185 pounds. So since being on Implanon, for the last eight years, I have gained 60 pounds. That's insane. Um, and that is something that when you look it up is one of the leading side effects to this birth control. So another issue that I've had that I don't think a lot of people wanna talk about in general, but especially when it comes to birth control um, is it has, severely affected my mental health um and you know i'm gonna talk about it because it's something that doesn't need to be talked about um especially if you are considering getting on this birth control it is a major factor as to why i loathe this birth control so much um i've always kind of had mental health issues my entire life but especially since being on this birth control, they have gotten so much worse. You know, when I was 16, I kind of had episodes of depression, but not not all the time. Very, they were very, very rare. Um, and I 
honest to God, had hardly any anxiety. Like, I don't even know if I had any. I'm, I'm sure I did, but it was probably not even near enough to notice. However, since being on this birth control, um, it's basically like clockwork now. Um, I kind of have a depressive episode every three months and I have some form or some level of anxiety every single day. And that sucks. And that is one of the main side effects to this birth control is it does affect your mental health. Um, and that has been the biggest struggle since being on this birth control for me is how much it has affected my mental health, how depressed I've been since being on this birth control, how bad my anxiety has been since being on this birth control. It <sighs> has literally been the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Another issue that I have had is it has migrated in my arm. Um, it hasn't been a crazy amount of migration by any means, um, but it has definitely moved. This scar is where it was inserted. This scar is where they attempted to remove it, which I will get into later. And it now sits at about right here and about this far back. So it has gone from right about here to now it is down back here. So yeah, it has migrated. Um, like I said, not a crazy amount, but it definitely has migrated and it is slowly but surely migrating further and further away from where it was inserted. So that's great because like I said, I do have Vimphanon, which is the one that cannot be detected on x-rays. Um, so if it is not removed soon and it migrates further and further away, they're probably not gonna be able to find it. Yay for me. Some other issues that, though they are not my own, um, they are issues that I do want to discuss because they are such a huge issue with this birth control that I know of two people personally have had it, but I also know that there are literally, I, don't, I can't even like, I don't even know how many women. Every single time that I see something on Facebook, um, hey, I've been thinking about getting this birth control implant on or next one on, um, what do you guys think about it? And I go and read the comments every single, I'm not, I'm not even kidding you, every single comment from every single woman says, and I know that this is true because two people that I know personally have had this same exact issue from the probably from about a month after inserted until they have it removed, they are constantly on their period. They are constantly bleeding. There's probably at most one week a month where they're not bleeding and that's, that's generous. Um, I know somebody very, very personally that has had it and had to have it removed because they bled every single day for three years because they stuck it out and had it for three years. Every single day for three years, they bled. And that is an issue that I'm not kidding you. Every single time I talk to somebody that has had issues with this birth control, that is the number one issue they've had. I didn't have that issue. I. I haven't had a period. I haven't had a period in almost eight years. Um, but that's more of a rare issue in comparison to constantly bleeding. Almost every single woman I know that has had this birth control constantly bleeds every single day. Every single day. And their menstruation symptoms are amplified. Their breasts are sore all the time. They have cramps all the time. They have acne breakouts all the time. Like. Uh, basically all of their menstruation symptoms are amplified and they happen every single freaking day. That is the number one, whenever I talk to any woman, they say that that is their number one issue with this birth control. Almost every single woman I have talked to has had that issue. So 
I just had to put that out there. Yes, that is not an experience that I had, so I guess, you know, I probably shouldn't say it because I didn't have that issue, but I feel like that is too important of an issue not to talk about. So put that out there as well. Another issue that I have had is, <laughs> we're gonna get a little private. Um, my sex drive has definitely gone down. Let's just get real personal because it's important, okay? I am a 22 year old female and I honest to God probably have the sex drive of an 80 year old woman. So I feel like it once a month. I wish that was an exaggeration. I just don't never sounds good to me. <laughs> it just never does. I just, yeah, my sex drive has definitely go, gone down the shitter, so there's that. Sorry y'all, I had to scoot over, I'm chasing the sun right now. Now, <laughs> these are two huge issues that I have had with implant on. Literally, the two main things that make me loathe this birth control. An issue that I have had, my number one issue that I have had with this birth control, and an issue that so many women have with this issue, is the birth control forms a fibrous tissue around itself. And that causes your own skin's tissue to form around it as well. Now, the problem with that is, is the normal procedure to remove this birth control is they just make a small incision near or around where they inserted it. They go up there with little clamps and they're supposed to just slide it back out, right? And then they stitch you up or they cover you with more liquid skin and you're good to go. However, the issue that I had mm, three years ago that many, many, many women have is because your arm tissue grows around this tiny, teeny little thing, they can't just cut you, make a tiny little incision and slip it out. Mm -mm. Most women either have to go through the doctor digging into their arm for several minutes to try and remove it, which is excruciatingly painful because that's what I went through. Three years ago, I went into my doctor's office and I said, hey, me and my husband are considering having children. Um, that and with all the other shit that had been going on because of this birth control, I wanted it removed. So my doctor goes, okay, it's a simple procedure. So I'm laying there and he cuts me open, just a little tiny little mark, and he sticks the forceps in my arm and he's tugging and tugging and tugging. Tugging so hard that mind you, they do numb you. Before they make a, the incision, they numb you so that you can't feel it. But he took so long and was tugging so hard that the numbing went away because that's how long he was digging into my arm for. The numbing went away. So I had to lay there for minutes while he desperately tried to get this thing out of my arm and couldn't. So that's why I have two scars. The healing process after that was 20 times as bad as when they inserted the thing because he dug so much into my arm. And here's the issue that I have with that. If that is such a common issue, okay, why is it that no doctors warn women? Because almost every single woman I've met or talked to online that has had this issue, their doctor never warned them that this could happen. Because had I been warned, hey, there's a possibility that this thing will be dang near impossible to get out, I would not have got it. And I think all, almost all women would feel the same way. Another issue that I've had with this birth control that coincides with trying to get it removed is because it has now embedded itself into my arm, there is 
a very high risk of nerve damage to my arm. Um, and I was when I was researching it, um, a lot of women found that it was very, very, very difficult to find a doctor that would even risk removing it because they don't want to risk a malpractice suit by causing damage to a woman's arm. Um, so most doctors' advice is just leave it in. It shouldn't cause any problems, really. <laughs> but I'm angry. <laughs> most doctors say just leave it in, it's not gonna cause any issues. They say that after three years, this birth control runs out. That it's expired. I've had mine in for almost eight years now, okay? The end of January, it'll be eight years. I have not had a period in eight years. I haven't gotten pregnant in eight years. I have progressively had weight gain over the past eight years. My mental health has gotten worse over the last eight years. You get what I mean, okay? It obviously still works past when doctors say that it'll stop working. So, yeah, this is just the experiences that I've had with this birth control. Not saying everybody's going to have these same experiences or even some of these experiences or even any negative experiences. I'm just saying that most of the women that I have spoken to and most of the research that I've done, most women hate this birth control too. The reason I decided to talk about this now um, and kind of make it like a big deal, I guess, go out of my way to make a long video about it is because I have an appointment on the 6th with my doctor to discuss having this birth control surgically removed. Um, I don't have any idea really um, about how it's done despite how um, common it is. There really isn't much online about it. so. Um, so yeah, um, on the 6th of November, I have an appointment with my doctor to discuss having it surgically removed. I have to go to the OR, go under anesthesia, they have to cut my arm open and surgically remove this birth control instead of the simple procedure that they promise it's going to be. I am going to make an update video, um, before, during, after that appointment. Um, to update you guys on what that is like because this is also something that's going to like affect my upload schedule and my uploads because I'm going to imagine that if the super simple insertion and the simple super simple removal or attempted removal is something that um, affected my ability to use my dominant hand for three weeks and more. Um, I'm going to assume that uh, having my arm cut open and having f***ing surgery is going to affect my channel. So I just want to uh, keep you guys updated with it, up so upload some more videos, um, keep you guys in the loop, and also because this is something that Though it is super freaking common that women have to have this birth control surgically removed, it's there's hardly anything about it online. So I guess I just want to talk about it because it's not really talked about. And I want to give some information to a topic that um, doesn't really have much. Keep your eye open for that. My next video will be about my appointment. If you guys like today's video, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next Friday. I love you. Bye.